Hi, uh, Journeys to Mount Shasta, welcome to join us today. Today we have our super co-host, uh, Linda. How are you? How am I? I'm good, I'm good. Let's Wonderful. see, can you hear my drum? Now, this time you can hear the drum. Try. No. No, no, okay, I won't play it then. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Uh, I don't have anything. Yeah, it's a thing on the top. Let me see if I can do it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, here we go. Oh, okay. So that's from your end. Not, not, I cannot do anything from my end. Okay. Okay, let me try. Yeah, I can hear now. Okay, that's, that's, it's from my end. Okay. 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 So that, I bring my drum for my sessions and, of course, for the sweat lodge. And I do uh, this event that I'm doing in July. I will open with blessing people and kind of finding out what I'm really curious about is where people are at after the pandemic. Because we're like you and I've been talking between the new moon and this full moon, we're all getting out there. And what does that mean? You know, and I want to coax people to get out there and to share their feelings because people have kind of sidestepped that. You know, they, because they've been alone so much or they haven't had anybody to listen to them. So that was, I was going to do this event originally earlier, but the only reason I didn't do it and couldn't do it is we had so much snow. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, I Ching has it behind him. I jumped in and started talking. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Please. Okay, so what, what it, no. <laughs> so what it says is greeting our mountain is calling you back. And it starts on the 14th and finishes on the 16th. And like I said, I had this vision in February to do this. So I was gonna put it up there sooner, but going over to McLeod, there was a oodles of snow and going to the McLeod Falls, it wasn't uh, available. So, you know, I've given this a fair amount of thought about it and I feel um, I'm gonna limit it to 20. And Stony Book is a place that I've done stuff before, not recently, of course, but it's a, a really good venue and the town, you can go to restaurants for lunch and kind of walk around and kind of get a feel, or you can drive to Mount Shasta. Either one works well. And the woman who owns it is a really nice woman who used to come into our store. And it was funny because when I went there and I was talking to her about this, she said, I, I went to your store. I didn't know you did this. So I sent her all these flyers of stuff I've done because you know she didn't know. And so it's kind of like, this is my first jumping off since all this craziness has happened. So that's why I Ching is being such a good guy and supporting me because we both feel that it's time to get people get going. And we've both been very lucky in the last two weeks because we've been busier than little bird dogs doing that. <laughs> Yes, yes. Uh, one, uh, after we got out of this uh, Mercury retrograde in May 10th, I believe, right. and then we, we are starting to feel that the energy is moving. So uh, I was also very busy in the past two weeks about, you know, printing out my prints and start selling, share those, my artworks, my energy paintings with the people. And I went, went to Mount Shasta, uh, you know, and I can feel a lot of initiation uh, kicking and then started. And so, you know, I'm so happy that uh, uh, Linda sent me this flyer uh, just this past week. And then, you know, we decided, you know, after the last Zoom that we have, we're going to do this again. And then, of course, we're going to maybe do some uh, guided meditation. Uh, we see how the energy flow. But uh, mainly, uh, you can see my background already put up you know, so uh, Linda's uh, fly, flyer, you know. That was just uh, right before I, I, we got on and I thought about that. So I, I changed my background. So, That's so nice. Yeah. So the event is very good. Uh, we are coming out and then we feel the energy that we like to, uh, you know, initiate this and then help people to move on and move forward. Because I think this is a very uh, important time that, uh, you know, we started to come out and then, you know, uh, to work together and then help each other to move on. You know, it's very important, yes. 
Yeah, I, I think, you know, and the thing, when you were up here last weekend, it was like a, the door kept opening. The, all these things kept happening. And it's been a, a steady flow, which a year ago it wasn't. You know, yes. we, we, we could go for a walk or go here, go there. But it, now it's like it's, you can feel the energy. And I do want to talk about one thing. And I was, t I've told a few people this. I wish I'd taken pictures because in this storms that we've had in the mountains, you know, Mount Shasta was just with lenticular clouds. It was so beautiful and so powerful. But for two weeks in the middle of this, it was not only lenticular clouds. I was telling a friend of mine who was over here last night, but in the lenticular clouds were rainbows. Wow. And I was, I didn't take pictures. And I, I think that this is what the mountain is affecting Mount Fuji, Machu Picchu, all those high places that is beyond the consciousness. And like I said, I wish I'd taken pictures because it was just, it was almost unbelievable. It was sort of like, like I said, rainbows in these lenticular clouds over all this white snow. So it sort of is showing us you know, that the new times and the activation is happening, you know, yes, yes. it just took a little longer. Yeah, it took a longer this year. And then because, uh, you know, even though I just came back from Mount Shasta, the uh, bunny flat still uh, covered with the snow and um, still very high. So uh, uh, people that like us, we know that because uh, mountain need more time to digest, to purify all the energy because, uh, you know, more and more people go to Mount Shasta. It's a, it's a very good healing process for everyone that goes there. But also, you know, uh, on the invisible level that, you know, we do need to give a mountain a little bit more time to kind of, uh, you know, digest all these uh, energy shifting and energy releasing, you know. And that's, uh, that's what I believe, you know. And then I believe that's the why year we are we're, we still have a no cover in May, in June, you know, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it, well, I think it's digesting all of it's gone on and that, you know, the lake is full and the water is just flowing like crazy, but it's not quite ready, like what you're saying. I, I agree. And I've had so many people say to me, okay, when, when can we camp on the mountain? <laughs> <laughs> and you took the picture at uh, Bunny Flat, and there's still a lot of snow. And I haven't really heard, but I, I heard that they're postponing the opening of the gate. Yes. I don't know what that means, but it's not ready to open. No, <laughs> not yet. Stretch imagination. Uh -uh. Yeah, even I went up to Castle Lay, still, you no, know, the lay is still uh, freezing with the, the snow, the ice. So, you know. But the Castle Lake is a much lower, you know, uh, altitude than Mount Shasta, but still, you know, right, right. so uh, definitely there are a lot of energy going on, you know, so we know that. So uh, we just need to be patient on this part that uh, about this year. But, uh, you know, feel free to uh, visit Mount Shasta because anytime you go, it's just wonderful, very purifying and very cleansing and of course, the happiness, joy, joyful feeling that it will come up just for whatever no reason that I posted on uh, the other, the other uh, YouTube uh, episode. I talked about that, you know, yeah. So that that's wonderful. I really, uh, really, uh, I'm I'm really grateful because of my life has been changed because of uh, uh, Mount Shasta connection with Mount Shasta. So uh, that's why we uh, continue to, you know, uh, share our, you know, our life experience, share our energy to the world with the Mount Shasta energy. And it's very wonderful to do that and then uh, keep us in line, you know, uh, don't go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Well, so. and the thing is, once you, once you make a commitment to that, a lot of people feel that they do. But in another level, what you're experiencing and what you're talking about is being a guardian of a mountain and in protection um, and to not do any nonsense things on the mountain. 
you know, because it's such a high energy and see, that's why it's digesting now. It's not quite ready for everybody. You know, it will be because we've gone through this huge shift and it's a, an awakening of types, you know, and it, we can all be very optimistic, but on the other hand, we're still protecting our mountain, these sacred sites. Very mm -hmm. important. Yes, uh, because uh, every time I go, I always uh, go with the, uh, you know, grateful, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for the mountain. That's why I come, come back and visit and, you know, uh, pay my respect with the mount, for the, to the mountain. So, you know, if you visit Mount Shasta, please uh, be mindful because it's a, you know, sacred mountain. You know, even though you, you don't See, know. As you're talking, the bells are ringing. <laughs> okay. So that was a conversation. That's a confirmation, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Saying what he's saying is true. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah, and you know, actually, I I just thought about that. You you mentioned about that. The uh, today I have uh, like a very interesting experience because uh, this is a uh, today is my day off, so I. I decided I go, I went to a swimming pool that in the, you know, in our complex. So I did some swimming and then there's a little jacuzzi on the side, you know, and jacuzzi, Ray loves that jacuzzi. So we, we, we done that before or, you know, very often, especially like a nighttime. And then interesting thing is that after I finished my swimming and then I, I walk into the uh, jacuzzi and uh, I said, Ray, you, you know, I know you love this, and then this is the place you like. You like to do this, and then I, I went to uh, hit the uh, jacuzzi. The uh, started, you know, and then there is a balloon on the other wow. side of the pool, and because the jacuzzi is on the, on one side, so if you if you want to come in from the uh, coming from that direction, you need to make a 90 degree turn. And that balloon all the way from the other side of the pool and then just like flow into this 90 degree. I was like, okay, I know it's you, right? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so that was interesting. And then I said, okay. So I, I pick up the balloon and then put it in the, in the water. So, you know, and then I feel like the bloom is trying to come my way, even though the uh, the water is like a spiraling, you know. So, uh, and so that was kind of a interesting that uh, remind me of a ray, remind me of this, uh, you know, the spirit, you know, the invisibles, they're there, you know. So uh, it's kind of a hard, I feel like a very warming, uh, for my heart because of uh, because of remind me of a ray and and today is actually was the first time that I went to the pool since since you know since the beginning of the 2023 so that was very interesting I just want to you know share with you so believe the invisibles you know the ultimate powers uh, that is out there helping us supporting us you know yeah. Well, and, and that, that's a really good example of how important it is to those that are on the other side to yeah. make contact and to support us and actually guide us to the right um, direction. Because as humans, we're always trying to figure it out and we can always need help and want help. And so we have to be open and see by you just confirming that you knew that's the case you knew it was Ray it wasn't something that you're kind of guessing at you know you just yeah. knew yeah. and I and I get that with my mom um, I, I just a picture of her shows up because mm -hmm. I, I question you know like am I imagining this and then all of a sudden on this computer thing I've got this one picture shows up yeah and so then I know that it's active and it's really important that people begin to realize how much help's out there. Yeah. And it's always important to question the people, not just take on anybody. Yeah. But, you know, those those of who, who we love and our guides and our, 
you know, guardians um, are more than willing to help us to do whatever it is. So I Ching, why don't you go ahead and do that uh, little meditation with the dragon because you saw the dragon in the clouds when you were here. Okay, sure. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, so today, uh, now we're going to do a guided meditation with a connecting with your guardian dragon, with your dragon. And then these are the uh, energy recently uh, very strongly to come forward and I can feel. And then also there are a lot of signs and messages on the Facebook or from my friends. You know, they're talking about dragon, we can feel it. So uh, because uh, I, I also very connected with the dragon. So uh, that's why. Uh, I would like to share this with the, you know, our our friends and family here, that uh, you can connect with your dragon by, you know, uh, listening to this guided meditation, and then anytime after that, anytime you want to connect with the dragon, then you are able to do so. Okay, so uh, we'll see, uh, uh, you know, what 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 comes up, you know, when we're doing this uh, uh, session. So take a few deep breaths. And then breathing the bright white light, brilliant white light energy and cleansing your entire body, going through your seven chakras. And breathe out the energy or the residues that no longer are working with you, working for you. And take another deep breath, close your eyes, and focus on your third eye chakra. And take another deep breath. This time we also focus on our heart chakra and then third eye chakra together. Okay, take another deep breath. Now, call upon your dragon come forward to reconnect with you this lifetime. It's time that we need to work together again to continue our contract with the divine that helping the Mother Earth ascension and then protecting Mother Earth and then increase the vibration of humanity, consciousness. So now your dragon come forward and then by your side, you may feel a little bit breeze you may feel your body tingling somewhere in your body, or you may feel your, you got like chill, or you may feel an energy coming through or coming down. You can feel with your body. So let's, uh, let's, uh, as Maushasa energy, open up your third eye at the moment so you can uh, enlarge the sensitivity so you can be more connected uh, with your dragon and you can see your dragon's color or feel your dragon's color. Continue to take deep breath. If you feel like your energy is just coming down very strong and all of a sudden, just uh, taking deep breath will help you to uh, balancing the energy from your head all the way down to your uh, bottom of your feet and your entire body. So oh, you may have uh, more than one dragon, but it's okay. Feel their color. Feel their colors. 
they may have different colors, or they may be multiple colors in one dragon, like a rainbow dragon. Okay, now feel your dragon because your dragon is uh, using his body or his face touching your body so you can feel it, you can feel each other. The moment that you're still feeling each other, the moment that you re remember that in your past lives, that how you were together and the, the time that you, you were together and then the uh, soul mission that you, you committed to each other. Those memory resurface from your DNA, from your cells, to remind you that you are wonderful guardians of the Mother Earth with your companion dragon with you. Okay, now you're connecting with your dragon already. You can feel your dragon. You, you can see the color. Now ask your dragon, your dragon's name or how you can call your dragon for the future if you want to, you know, uh, connect with your dragon again during your meditation, or if you need the guidance, you need protections, you can always using the name. So <clears throat> it can be a name. My dragon's name. Uh, my dragon's name is Delilah. Oh, Delilah. Okay, very good. Okay. And yeah, then she, she told me right away. Good, very good. And the color of your dragon? It's kind of, like you said, rainbow, the top of the head, and then down, and then some yellow, and then kind of like a, a light green, not too dark. Okay, and then the tail good. is all rainbowy. Good, very good. Okay, so it could be a name, it could be a sound, that how you call your dragon in the future. Everyone is different. So it doesn't have to be a name if you cannot get the name. Just make sure you focus on your body and then focus on your heart and your third eye chakra so you can get uh, the signs or the uh, sound or the tone that maybe that's the way you call your dragon, you know. So do not limit to yourself. Just try to get a name. It could be a sign, it could be a symbol, it could be a sound, it could be a tone, okay? Okay, very good. So now we all ride on our dragons and then we are going up to the sky uh, above the Mount Shasta. We're looking down to a Mount Shasta and we're going up. Your dragon is taking you up to the sky, go all the way, get out, going to outside of a mother earth. Now we're in the, <coughs> we're in the Milky Way. We're looking down, uh, we're looking down uh, at our mother earth. You can see the flower of light grid. You can see the mother earth grid. You can see the rainbow grid. You can see the crystal grid. There are so many layers of uh, grids outside of the Mother Earth, and it's for protecting and it's for the uh, foundation of uh, receiving the energy, connecting the energy. So now, from your heart, you send out a uh, a beam of a light, a energy, pink energy, as well as the uh, green energy. And then directly shoot it on the Mother Earth's uh, grids. Doesn't matter which grid, which layer of, uh, of grids. 
and your dragon do the same thing from your dragon's heart shooting out a, a beam of a light, beam of energy, and then onto Mother Earth grid. And this is part of our uh, regular routine that we we, uh, we we would like to establish because this way we can uh, we can do the repairment repair and for the you know connection or the grid that need to be repaired and also that enhance the connection enhance the energy level uh, vibration level continue to uh, beam out your heart energy healing energy to mother earth At the same time, taking deep breath. Okay. So it doesn't matter uh, which part of the grid that you will beam, beam your energy to. It's all good because it's all connected. We are all connected. Everything is connected. Now the Mother Earth, Mother Earth are uh, beam back uh, energy to you, and you can feel it's a it's a grateful energy coming back from a, a feedback from the Mother Earth. Thank you. For Thank us for doing this. You feel this energy coming back into your heart, from your heart, spread it out into your entire body. It could be yellow energy, yellow light. It could be white light. It could be pink. It could be green. It could be any color or it could be rainbow colors. And you can feel like you're bathing in this energy completely. You are like a, you are pampered on Mother Earth. So now we slowly, uh, our dragon, guardian dragon team, rainbow guardian dragon, rainbow dragon guardian. We finish this session, we are coming down, your dragon taking you down, and then, you know, coming into a mother earth, and then come, come down, now it's uh, about uh, Mount Shasta. You can see the Mount Shasta. Mount Shasta also, also shoot up, shoot up a beam of a white light. <coughs> That's like a light tower. So we can see the way to come back. Okay. Now, Come back to your body and then your dragon is with you by you and then your dragon is going to leave you now but remember you can always just call up on your dragon anytime if you wish to to continue your journey together to continue your mission together We'll take a deep breath and come back to your body completely. Okay, take another deep breath. When you're ready, you can open your eyes. Thank okay. you. Okay. That was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah.
So uh, yeah, this is uh, the things that we're working on right now. Recently, we just feel like a dragon energy. So like a rainbow dragon warrior that, you know, I posted at the other uh, uh, episode uh, because the painting that I recently uh, finished. So that was uh, also a sign of uh, connecting with the dragon energy. So if you're very connected, with the dragon energy, or if you feel like you're part of this, you know, just, uh, you know, follow our guided meditation, you can connect with the dragon. So yeah, this reminds me that remember I told you, I went to we Starbucks, I saw this a double rainbow, and I end up uh, give a lady, uh, she's an artist, a guiding meditation connected with her dragon. And then she said, she saw the white dragon. I said, yeah, I saw that. Or I saw that while I was giving you the guiding meditation. And she is also very connected with the Japan, Mount Fuji. So I mentioned about you. Uh, so uh, I think this is like those kind of uh, uh, experience that we are running, we, run, we are running into it is like uh, telling us Everything is connected, you know, Mount Fuji, Mount Shasa, Machu Picchu, you know, Mount Kalai, which the, uh, you know, the highest uh, mountain, you know, in Tibet, you know, in the world. So that's very good. So we continue to, uh, to be a guardian of the Mother Earth and to be a guardian of um, Mount Shasta. Okay. Thank you, I Ching. Okay, so anything you would like to add, uh, Linda? Why don't you uh, tell us the day uh, of your event? Okay, um, it starts Friday night on the 14th, okay. and it finishes on Sunday the 16th after Sweat Lodge. We are doing a ceremony uh, completing it, and you can either uh, email me, Linda M. Held at AOL, or Linda Bright Star Talking Swan, no, Linda Brightstar at gmail.com, or you can call me at 530-859-1192. It's going to be limited to 20 people because okay. I feel <clears throat> that we're all ready to do deeper work, and I want people who really want to be, A, in Mount Shasta, and also go for a walk because for me, a lot of the stuff that happens is on walks. We, we tell our sometimes our most deepest secrets when we're just walking and talking in nature and going to the McLeod Falls is so beautiful yeah. and it's, it's breathtaking but it's also invoking this whole story of where we've been where we're going and like I Ching and I, I laugh about it because we don't know what, we're, what that is yet we're just going, we're riding on the dragon and following the energy as best we can so I'd like to support you in doing that Yes, yes. So yeah, maybe uh, in the future we're gonna do it again. Maybe possibly becoming uh, like on a regular basis. But you know, um, we'll just go with the flow. You know, that's my style. You know, <laughs> so no pressure on. That. <laughs> so I think uh, Linda's event will be wonderful. It's in July. So I will also put the uh, uh, in the information uh, in the description area. So uh, you can check it out. Uh, if you feel interesting or if you, if you feel drawn to it, you know, don't hesitate. Just take, take the action because uh, it's very important that all, all of us all step up because every little bit contribution from every single person, it will definitely help our Mother Earth and definitely help the uh, uh, humanity consciousness uh, enhancing, you know, so. So I think, yeah, that would be, that's great. Uh, you know, uh, we keep it short and then this is a session that we have today. And then, yeah, thank you so much, Linda. Thank you, I Ching, and thank you everybody. Have a beautiful night and day and we'll see you soon. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, we'll see you soon. Thank you, bye-bye.